Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new video on my channel. My name is George NFT and I'm super excited for this first minting video actually on my channel. Today is the day. Claim your sewer pass. I'm super excited. My first mint, which I'm actually recording and making a video of. I had the ape coin, I had the other side drop, and I've actually learned a lot of things of that. So I, I'm gonna be applying that on today's mint as well. Uh, as we can see right here, we've logged into the lovely website right here. We've just confirmed with the hot wallet, even though my mutants are not in the hot wallet, I can claim with it. Why? Worm.xyz. I've made a video on that. If you haven't checked that one out, make sure to do so. I would definitely recommend you to use that. It is super nice. You can mint with any hot wallet by confirming it with your cold one. And um, yeah, here we go. We've just got the first team for the first mutant. Absolute nice. Very nice website. Super clean. No lags whatsoever. Gas fee right there. Almost $15 which is fairly okay, I would say. Remembering back, I've paid like $6,000 for the other side drop. That was absolute nuts. And um, yeah, so this is considerably very, very low fees right there. Waiting a little bit of time. There we go. The transaction just went through. I've just got my first pass. And here we go. My second pass for my second mutant. Another tier one. And yes, I did have a kennel. I did sell it at 8.5 ETH. I was kind of... Well, timing was okay, I would say. The floor already dropped so badly from then. So I'm actually happy about that. Claiming the second pass from right here, ladies and gentlemen. Same thing. Just waiting for the transaction to go through. And after that, what was my strategy? What is my strategy with these passes? So I, what I'm always trying to do is to sell one right off the bat. I did that same thing on uh, the other side and claim. And that worked out pretty freaking well. So as you will see in a moment, we'll go over to OpenSea. And we're going to check out the floor. What was the floor right off the bat? Uh, after the release, I was literally one of the first people to mint it. So after updating my meter boss, because it was locked in with my um, with my ledger, we can see right here the floor was 2.2. I think that was the peak right off the bat. And um, yeah, that was a tier 1. Obviously, if you have a dogo, it's much higher. I didn't check the other prices. The craziest thing I saw, though, was someone sold a tier 4. The best freaking pass for 3 ETH. What on earth did this guy do? Anyway, so the floor was at 2.2 pretty much at the time. This is live clips, by the way. And sales were going in pretty nicely. Some people also paid 2.5 ETH for a freaking tier 1, which is pretty insane in my opinion. Tier 2s were selling for roughly 3.5 ETH at that point, which is a mad good price. And I've decided, you know what? Let's go ahead and sell this bad boy as well for 2 point. I don't know where I listed it first. Floor was at 2.2 at that time, so I've decided, you know what, fuck it, I'll just put it in for 2.2. And that was not smart of me, because 2.2 was the floor, and people already were dumping their passes on the market. Whenever a mint happens, the first floor is pretty freaking high. And normally, the price is dropping fairly quick after the mint, and that happened as well right here. So me approving the collection, listing this thing, took me so freaking long, like not crazy long but like a couple of minutes so I, the the floor already dropped at that point as you will see in a second on the clip as well i um, i've got worried there for this red button but they've pretty much changed the settings on OpenSea for that one whatever so i there we go i've listed the first pass and you will see the floor was unfortunately already lower than that so I, what's my strategy i'm keeping one asset and i'm selling the other one so i i'm gonna keep one sewer pass so i can go ahead and make content on it grind on it and just have fun with it and just gamble it this pass right here, the other one, is like my safe profits, which I really appreciate. So I, I was expecting 2 ETH, to be honest. That was literally my prediction. Oh, everything over 2 ETH will be insane. So 2 ETH is an absolute amazing price. I've listed it for 2.2 ETH right there. But unfortunately, um, yeah, there was uh, no chance to sell it for that price. And then we went ahead and checked out the floor again for it. And I think it was already it's 2, something like that. So I, I've just kept going back and forth. And the floor was already at 2, then I listed it for 2, and then the floor already dropped to 1.8, and then eventually I sold it for 1.8. And here we can see the clip where we've sold it, 1.8, I'm definitely happy with that, and um, yeah. So, let's go ahead and jump right into OpenSea and check out the prices, literally 15 minutes after release. Right here we are, a live clip, we are back on OpenSea. For some reason, it's leggy right now, which is a bit weird, to be honest, but it happens on OpenSea. There you go, Surpass floor is at 1.5 right now, half an hour after the release, which is still very good in my opinion. 
it's already dropping under 1.5, as you can see right there. My personal prediction, honestly, it's just what I'm feeling like. It's going to be between 0 0.75 to 1 ETH. That's what I think for the tier 1s. Obviously, the higher tier is going to be much, much higher. And, um, yeah, as we can see right there, people are selling it and people are buying quite a few for this price right here. Wow, 5. Point, okay, not bad. A tier 4 just over 5.15 ETH right there. Um, but there's also people who actually sold this for like 8 at the beginning. So that was pretty dope, I guess. But again, if you guys want to play, you want to be part of the BOYC ecosystem, everything, you're fine. Like, I, I, I knew this would drop quite a bit, so I, it's completely fine. The second pass, obviously, I'm not going to make as much on the first pass. But I don't even care because I want to play the game. I want to have fun. And I want to be part of the freaking ecosystem and then extend it. That's the same what I did with my other sites. And uh, I think a lot of other people understand what I'm trying to say. All right, here. The only very fortunate part is, bro, mutants dropped to 30 ETH right over the bat from peak 19. So that was a six freaking ETH drop right there. It's getting back up to 14 right now, which makes me happy, I guess. The unfortunate Dogo is freaking 6.5 ETH already right there. Which I did sell for 8.5, so I, I'm like 3 ETH up from that one, so I'm actually happy. I'm definitely going to buy another candle when it drops even more. And um, yeah, that's already it about the mint. Zero pass claimed right here. I'll see you tomorrow with a new video, guys, when I'm going to be grinding the game. I'm definitely going to try to play as much as possible. So make sure to subscribe to my channel. Make sure to follow me on Twitter. That'll be super, super nice for you. And um, yeah, thanks for tuning in. I love you all. I hope you guys enjoyed this mint. Even if you did mint, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts down below, ladies and gentlemen. Have a good one and peace out.